Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Yeezy 700 V3 Azales. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we are going way back before my channel even really existed. So December 2019 was when these actually originally released. As we know, we are getting all fired up for Yeezy Day. So these will be re-releasing on Yeezy Day, which is really exciting because this is the OG colorway, the first fifth kind in the 700 V3 silhouette. So we're going to talk about the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled this really cool color scheme. And then we'll conclude with how much these are going to be selling for on the retail end, as well as how much these are going for on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. This is just one of my favorite favorite colorways of the 700 v3 option so one of the reasons i love this so much is we do have that beige tone on the front of the toe box region which is just a nice simplistic color scheme we've got hits of that black on the tongue as you can see here and just nice simple black laces which just really kind of mold in there it's very simplistic and uh, as we wrap around this cajun system is really cool because it actually glows in the dark so one of my favorites things about this colorway when it released was the fact that it actually would glow in the dark when I would be out at night going places really just cool to have compliments because people are like well your feet are glowing um, but underneath that we do have some transparent stripes underneath and then some white on that prime knitting as we wrap around we've got that same caging unit which works its way all around the side paneling of the medial and lateral side of the sneaker on the sneaker lining or sock lining we do have just nice black on the interior and black for the insole and before i forget to mention we do have hits of that 3m that's kind of hidden on the sides of the tongue there as we work our way to the bottom of the midsole we've got just a nice cream color scheme one of the things i like is these are different kinds of cream tones again this does glow in the dark the caging unit so it's a little bit of a darker deeper cream color scheme while the base of it is actually just a nice light cream for the outsole that is in just a nice light blue colorway and then we've got a darker uh, royal blue as well as more cream tones so let's take a look at those details then move along to size and fit on these
All right, so as far as size and fit goes, I would say that these do run a little bit snug. So for me personally, I went half a size up and I feel like that works perfectly for me. Again, your foot does get pushed up a little bit and this toe box region, as you can see, is pretty shallow. So if you're somebody who wants to have a little bit of extra wriggle room like myself, definitely consider sizing half a size up minimum. Uh, if you do have high arch, narrow feet like myself as well, that sizing I think would work great for you. But again, if you do have flatter, wider feet, that could actually differentiate a completely different size range that may work best for you. So do think about that when considering what size will work best for you in this specific silhouette. All right, so now let's jump right into styling. So again, probably my favorite personal color of the 700 V3s that have released. I think that this is just such a clean cut color scheme. It really goes with everything. Uh, for the first look, I definitely wanted to really match this to a tee. So I decided to wear a cream and black striped long sleeve shirt. I layered that with a button down jacket that was also cream and black just to kind of bring the dual combo color coordination. And then for the bottoms, I just wore some light denim jeans. that made a little bit dressier I decided to wear a cutout black dress it was a maxi dress I think that all black definitely is a right direction to go if you're trying to match this especially when matching with that nice uh, tongue that you see there in that black colorway And for the last and final look, I decided to wear a plaid uh, skirt with different mixtures of color schemes. I wore a simple white tank top and then I tied a black button down around my waist. Let me know out of the three, what was your favorite or how would you sell you? Guarantee you, boy, fast forward, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids, just kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind and the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to. Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two wrists. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I'll be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on share mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. I got to do it big. I got to do it big. I 
gotta do it big gotta do it big that's the only way to live. now let's conclude with how much these retailed back in 2019 so these retailed at 200 dollars and they are currently going between 500 to a thousand dollars again og colorways do tend to have a higher resale price point value so if you're not somebody who wants to pay that kind of price range definitely look out for these on yeezy day because these will be re-releasing and you're going to get these for the retail price point and this is not one that you're going to want to miss out on again because this is the og colorway all right everyone thank you so much for tuning in if you joined us for the first time be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already leave me any comments or questions that you may have down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership course as well as our merch store this is shay tv my name is marissa hill we will catch you all next episode Thank you.